would just be knocked off far too, like just too far off stage and he just can't make it back. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. But Doc is a very fun character to play. It's just, like he was getting solid combos on stage. It's just when he got off stage, he was so limited to like his angles of recovery, especially like with how little he has, that it's just, it's hard. You can do well with the character. It's just you have to play a lot safer neutral. And you have to win, like, when you get those neutral exchanges, you better could, like, well, that applies to, like, almost any character, but especially someone with a bad recovery, like, you better maximize off of it, otherwise you're going to pay the price. Definitely. Definitely. I think I might not commentate this set just because they're probably going to call me. Okay. Yeah, it's just because there's all these running, but then, like, I'm right here. Okay. Did I just, did I just dip? Or should I just commentate and leave mid-set? What is more appropriate? I don't know. It looks like Edmund <laughs> might want to get on, but I'm not really sure. Um, I don't think it matters if you got to leave. Okay. All right. The GOAT, Purvis, round one, baby. Round one, baby. Go. The GOAT? Question mark? I actually haven't seen this matchup. I, I wonder if, like, a rushdown, like like Falcon can do really well against Belmont. Because the thing that Belmonts uh, suffer against is someone who can rush them down, break down their wall, and successfully predict how they're going to evade you. Because if typically when they get close, when someone gets close to Belmont after they don't have their projectile wall, they typically offer like, oh, that's a death. They typically offer like down tilt, up B, some like escape option, right? Or like roll away. Because they don't have really good up close options besides like Nair out of shield or up B. So when you're rushing down, oh nice that smash. When you're rushing down, if you have a character like as fast as uh, like Falcon, he can barely breathe. See what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we're seeing some big combos. Uh, right. Ooh, oh. baby, the goat. He's looking like it, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. Uh, Let the man breathe. Oh, that's the matchup, dude. You gotta smother Belmont. I was gonna say, uh, I think. Run up jab for Falcon is really good in this matchup because you can kind of easily you can easily put on pressure. Yes. On um, Belmont. I, I agree. I completely agree. And it's fast. It's so fast. And yeah. you can cancel out of dash if you press down. That's right. Yeah. Um, also, run, run up uh, F tilt would be pretty good as well. I can you, see that. You, can, you, you have a lot of. Uh, options to kind of pressure Belmont without getting in a situation where you're going to just uh, you know eat a big eat a down tilt exactly. or any of those first options that Belmont has. Exactly. Okay. You actually haven't seen uh, Primus or Primus. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry if I have. Um, set up a wall. Now he is. Okay, yeah. But he finally got some of those projectiles yeah, just, out. I think once he sets up his wall, he's gonna have a better time in this matchup. Almost good dash attack. Okay, that's easily punishable, but uh, Primus getting lucky there. Yep. I think it's Primus, like the band. Primus, yeah. Probably. Let's see, unless I'm pronouncing the band wrong too. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Okay, yeah. That go had the option to punish that. Oh, he fell out of that fell out of it, up yeah. smash. I thought, that, I thought that move was buffed. It was. I don't. I don't see a lot of use for it. On honestly, it's it's not a very big hitbox, and there's other stuff you can go for that's just as fast in most situations. Unless you're you're wanting to uh, knock them up. Yeah. So it's good in matchups versus like uh, floaties. Okay, good trade. BBZ. Oh, I gotta go play. Alright, I will probably, I might be back depending on how my bracket's looking. Alright. But have fun, man. Hope you guys enjoy the stream. See ya. Maybe I'll be on stream. Fun. See ya, man. Have a good one. Alright, Connor, stepping out. Let's see where Grimace decides to take the goat. The last match was looking pretty ugly. Falcon, uh, can really get up in your face if you're not ready. You know, it requires that you play very well as a zoner because the Falcon's just going to be all over you uh, with that speed and that combo game. And uh, 
you know, breaking out is also a, a challenge. So you, we're looking, Firmus is looking to set up that wall, like Connor said, and, and uh, just put some distance between him and Goat. And uh, hopefully we'll see him do a little better this time, um, because I think we all would like to see a good match here. So it looks like we're going to the altar. <laughs> I still don't quite have the pronunciation for this place down. But it's a, it's a very interesting stage. Um, uh, it's, it seems like kind of an odd choice. Maybe he just wants that uh, that FD uh, choice. Or, or uh, actually, I think he's gone to the FD variant of this stage. So it's completely flat, and there will be no platforms. OK, already we're seeing things do a little better here. He called out that jump there with the up to which was pretty sick. Unfortunately, he did not kill. The GOAT still very much in this. Okay, it seems I was mistaken. This is not the FD version of the stage. Uh, okay, and air dodges through the axe. Nice option there, and it's gonna get him back in this game, back at center stage, and just a bit. Wow, he dropped down knee. Yeah, so like I said, much able, he's much better able to punish Primus there. And we're gonna see, I really think in this matchup that the invincibility is, is so important. Uh, using it well as uh, like Falcon, you know, because you have that speed to chase down. Oh my god, these punishes are crazy. But you have that speed to chase down um, the Belmonts wherever they decide to go, and you're just completely invincible. So you can just run through that wall. Uh, so the GOAT using it to great effect there to get in and just do some huge damage. Uh, <laughs> and the, the cross comes back and hits the GOAT right back. Uh, but unfortunately that's a re-grab and the goat is going to punish that with a back air and uh, it's looking like Goat's gonna take this if Hermes doesn't do something fast, but now he's got some space Let's see what he decides to do with it. Not much But uh, fortunately the goat's not gonna get that big of a punish and he's going to get back in neutral here um, All right uh, F tilt there Don't run out and, uh, oh, back, <laughs> falling down. Uh, the goat is having a difficult time re recovering here. There are so many projectiles in his face right now. Um, will he make it back? No, he will not. Uh, good stuff to Hermes there, just keeping up that pressure and making it hell on the goat to get back. Um, so it's looking like this map is a little closer than I anticipated at first. Okay, interesting, goes for knee there, maybe hoping for the DIN, but he could have uh, just gone for the up air chain. And, uh, well, maybe he really thought he had that read, so who am I to judge? Anyway, uh, Primus doing great with these ledge traps, showing uh, that he is adept with this character, and uh, able to, oh my god, the Falcon kick! I think he's still dead anyway, yes. Go doing a crazy edge guard there, jumping out there and, and catching that. I think that was about his only option there. So, uh, smart stuff to the GOAT. Taking that set with Falcon. And uh, 